Hi, it's Keith from Cloud Design Box. Welcome to today's session. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how we can set up branching within Microsoft Forms. Before we get started, if you find the content today useful, please hit the like button. Why not subscribe to our channel? And also, if you hit the activity bell, you'll be notified every time Cloud Design Box uploads a fresh video. So let's get into Microsoft Forms. So here I am in Microsoft Forms. Before we get into the setting up part of this video, I just want to very quickly show you what branching does. So branching will take a respondent through the form depending on the answers that they give. So for example, I have a question here. In my spare time, I like to either watch or participate in sport, watch television, read or other. In this case, I'm going to select read. And because I've selected read, that will then take me through to another question asking me what types of books do I enjoy reading. And I've got four answers here. So if I just chose the top answer, that would just then take me directly to the end of the form and I could submit my answers. Or if I was to choose other, for example, it will then take me through to another question where I can then type in my other answer. In this case, nonfiction. I can then click submit. And that then submits the form. So how do we go about setting this up? So to start off with, I've created my survey. So this is a hobbies and pastimes survey. And I've created that in Microsoft Forms. And I've built the, the actual questionnaire based on branching in mind. So for example, here, I started off with my first question. In my spare time, I like to. And we've got a number of answers. And everything beneath that is kind of related to this top uh, section. So, for example, I like to watch and participate in sport. So the next question down for me here is, what sport do you like to watch and participate in? I've got four options, football, motor racing, equestrian and, and other. And beneath that, then I've got a, if other, what sport do you enjoy? My next question down was watch television. So here's my television based answers and again with another box same again at the top for i like to read so that comes down towards the bottom here what type of books do you like to read and i've also put some extra stuff in there so um you've got four options for the type of book you like to read so if others what do you like to read and then from there who is your favorite author so i carry on branching throughout the whole form so i need to start to add my branching what I have found is that branching doesn't work so well if you set it to multiple answers now for example if I was responding to this quiz if I selected two or three answers off here the branching doesn't work so well you, you don't get a greater range of choices so um, I always find that with branching it works better with multiple answers switched off when the respondent can only give one answer I've made all my questions required so to start the branching, I'll come over to the right hand side, hit the three dots here, the ellipses, more settings, get a drop down here. And from there, I'm going to select add branching. So this is the branching only for question one. First answer in my spare time, I like to watch participate in sport and the branch is set up so that it will go to the next question. Well, question three is where my sports answers start. I'm going to go to Next, hit the drop down and where it says watch participate in sport, I'm then going to select option number three there. Once the respondent answers this question, if they choose sport, it will then take them straight down to option number three here. So to watch television, hit the drop down and my television questions start at number five from my list. I can just scroll down and select there so it's now going to take my respondent through to directly from question one down to question five and then when you come to read so you can take that down what types of books do you like if they select the read option it will then take them directly down to question seven at the bottom of the page here and if the respondent selects other, it will then take them straight down to question two. It will just be go to the next question here. 
Now that I've started up the branching and it's now going to start to direct my respondent throughout the page, I can now start to populate the rest of the form. If I come down here, this next question here is a long answered question. When I select it, because we've selected branching, it's going to say, OK, once my respondent has filled in other, where do I want my respondent then to go within the form? And in this case, all I want them to do is just go directly to the end of the form and close it out. And that's it. So then I'm going to go down to the next question, option three. So if my respondent has selected that I'd like to watch and participate in sport, I can now create some branching within that question. When you click on it, sometimes you find the page might jump about, but this looks pretty good. So the respondent would then come into the question and potentially if they click football, that's great. And all I want them to do then is go straight to the end of the form because I don't want to interrogate that any further. And that would be the same for motor racing and for equestrian. But for other, I want them to go, if they select other, I want them to then drop through into the next question. If other, what sport do you enjoy? So once the respondent has answered that out in a long answer, I want them just to go to the end of the form. And there's a work down the form here. What kind of television programs do you enjoy? Again, I'm going to click on that. Sometimes you find that when you click on the question, the form does jump around a little bit. So here we are now at option five. If my respondent goes for quiz and game shows, that's fine. I want to go to the end of the form. Nature programs, end of the form. Drama, end of the form. Because again, I'm not really going to interrogate the, my respondent much further than that. If they selected other from the television programs, they will then come through to the next question, which is question six. If other, what type of television program do you enjoy? I select that. And once they've finished the, the other question, because it's going to be a long text, I just want them to go straight to the end of the form. Then I'm just going to click down onto option seven. So what types of books are you going to read? So on this one, we're going to just handle it slightly differently. So again, I'm just going to click on the panel here, open up the branching options. And where it says, what type of books do you like to read? This time, rather than to go to next and if others, what I'm going to get it to do is I want it to go to this very last question. If I like sci-fi, where is it going to take me? I want to ask them who is the favourite author. So once the respondent clicks on sci-fi, it will find them straight through to question nine. Who is the favourite author? So once the respondent has answered other, in this case, I want it to go through to the next question, option eight. But then when the respondent has filled out option eight, I want it to then go through to option nine so we can find out who their favourite author is. So again, I can either select next or in this case, I'm just going to click on nine. That takes them through. And then the final part for option nine, once it's finished, I want the respondent to go straight to the end of the form. So that's everything filled out. So kind of a quick check. So branching options at the top here. In my spare time, I like to. And it's now going to take my respondents through to either questions three, five and seven. Pretty good. I'm happy with that. If it's all gone horribly wrong, I can just click the ellipses here, the more, the more options button, and I can click on reset. And this will wipe it all away. Uh, so it takes me right back to the beginning again. But however, I can change things if I've made a mistake just by going back up to the question and selecting the drop downs. However, everything looks pretty good. I'm just going to go back here. I'm going to click on preview. And as we can see, it's now collapsed the whole form. So it's now asking me my first question. It's saying I like to watch, participate in sport, read other. In this case, I'm going to select read. And, and because I've selected read, the branching is kicked in and it's now going to ask me what type of book do I like to read. But also, if you notice, initially, question one was set up was the, was the initial entry into the quiz. So the original read option, I think, was option seven. However, it does automatically renumber it for you. So it'll pick up the fact this is our second question, despite the fact in our quiz it was it was option seven. I actually like to read other. So as I click on it, it's just jumped down here. So if other, what do you like to read? I like nonfiction. And who's my favourite author? Put a name in there. And then I can submit. Let me just go back again. Preview. So just drop back into the form. 
and if I didn't want to go through the multiple branching versions so here I can just click in this case watch and participate in sport what sport do you like to participate in I quite like motor racing because I've not selected other it won't branch off anywhere else so all I can do is click submit using branching in forms is a great way of being able to tailor a respondent's direction to a form based on their previous answers if you like what you've seen today please don't forget to hit the like button do please subscribe to the channel and also if you scan the qr codes that will take you through to all of cloud design box other social media outlets thanks for watching